Hi. Now here's another question which you can often find when you're dealing with arithmetic progressions. Where you're given consecutive terms and asked to find out what they are. So in this example, just to demonstrate how we handle this kind of question, we've got an arithmetic progression and it has three consecutive terms. 6x plus 1, 7x minus 1 and 9x minus 8. And we're being asked then, what are the three consecutive terms? So to do something like this, what we do, think of this as like this. We've got lots of terms. We don't know where these terms are. We don't know whether they're first, second or third terms, fifth, sixth, seventh terms. It doesn't really matter. We've got a sequence, okay? And we come across these three consecutive terms. 6x plus 1 is the first one there. Then we get 7x minus 1, and then we get 9x minus 8. And the sequence carries on, OK? Now, what we know is that if we were to add the common difference to 6x plus 1, it would give us 7x minus 1. That's if we add d. We know again that there's a common difference between these two terms, that if we were to add d to 7x minus 1, it would give us the next term, 9x minus 8. And it's this idea that we use to generate an equation. What we know is that if we were to subtract this term, 7x minus 1, from this term here, it would give us d. And if we were to subtract 6x plus 1 from 7x minus 1, it would also give us d. So what I'm saying is that they share this common difference. And that means that if we take this term, 9x minus 8, and we subtract the previous term, 7x minus 1. And we've got to be careful, make sure you write this in brackets, OK? We're treating it as one item. Then this is the common difference, and it will be equal to the same as taking this term, 7x minus 1, and from it, subtracting the previous term, 6x plus 1. And again, make sure you put that in brackets. That would be my equation. Not that I would write this, that it equals d, but it's just to remind you that it does equal the common difference d. So it's just a question of solving this equation here. So if I expand the brackets, OK, we've just got 9x minus 8 on the first two terms. But here we've got minus 7x, and then we've got minus minus 1, so that's plus 1. And so that's why it's very important that you put this in brackets because it's easy to trip up there. On this one we've got 7x minus 1 and then we've got minus 1 times 6x plus 1 so that's going to give us minus 6x and then minus 1. So simplifying now each side 9x minus 7x is going to be 2x and then you've got minus 8 plus 1 which is minus 7 and this equals 7x minus 6x which is x and minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. And if I take x from both sides, 2x minus x is just going to leave me with x. And if I add 7 to both sides, then I've got 7 minus 2, which is 5. So I've now got what x is, and I should be able to find each of the three terms. So therefore, we can say that the terms are. And when we let x equal 5 for the first term, you've got 6 times 5, which is 30, plus 1, 31. And then substituting 5 into the second term here, 7 fives are 35, minus 1 gives us 34. And the next term, substituting 5 in, 9 fives are 45, minus 8 is 37. And you can see they share a common difference. That common difference is 3. They're going up in steps of 3. And you can see that 37 take away 34 is that common difference of 3. 34 take away 31 is that common difference of 3. 
So I hope that's given you some idea then on how we go about handling questions where we've got to find the three consecutive terms.